and welcome passengers to Train Real World. We are at Kakaldi Station waiting for our train to London. It's just gone five past two, my train's at ten to five. Yes, I am here a little early, but it was either that from where I was uh, today in Kanuka or getting here about 15 minutes before my train. I know what I'd rather do. Well, I do know, because I've done it. So it will be pitch black by the time our train gets here, but hopefully we're gonna see a couple of trains coming through. One that was at half past, it's been changed to a three car instead of a four, you know what I'm talking about. But we will be checking out some trains that are going through whilst doing a bit of work in the warm I'm gonna go through here but this is quite a long intro so let's cue the actual intro Welcome everyone. So we're at Kakordi Station. We're waiting for our Azuma service to London King's Cross. So the comfort of this station for the next few hours. Let's shut this door because it's uh, a bit windy. Come on, shut that door. We got toilets, we got those amenities. We got a vending machine as well. Of course, the original and the best, Umbru. But this is a bit empty. I was expecting to see a large uh, Tunnox Caramel um, on there. But I did go to the shop at Leven. Let me just uh, do that, because I've got it in my hand. So this is something you don't get in other parts of the UK. A tub of Tunnox Caramel. And also something that I've not seen before. Tunnox Milk Chocolate Wafer Cream. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these. Bought a couple of packs of them for the family. I know these are just cut up caramels, but come on, a tub. These were three pound, two ninety nine, one pound seventy nine for the milk, milk ones. But yeah, let's go and sit on that seat, wait for the trains. I'm gonna look at real time trains and we should be able to see two HSDs coming through. You're gonna see them quicker than I am. I'm just gonna sit and wait here for a few hours, but yeah. Let's see what comes into this station. See, it comes at 170. I think this is the one. That's supposed to have been an intercity. HST, I may be wrong actually. I'm now doubting myself. But there was one that was around this time that was supposed to have been HST, but turned into a 170. But it's nice to see the livery. We could have got the Caledonian sleeper tonight because I'm down in London tomorrow. But for the price of all that, it was cheaper to go LNER and stay in a hotel in East Croydon than it was to get the Caledonian sleeper. Would have been nice to try it again, but nope. Not this time, maybe another time. Finally, something else other than a 170. That 158 is going to Aberdeen, so yeah. Right, cool to see. To watch that go. So this 158170 mashup is going to Dundee. There is a delayed LNER Azuma service to Aberdeen that is stuck behind it. So it's getting later and later by the second. 
but see, Scott Rail can do it. Why can't anyone else? Well, there is a reason, you know the reason, but how can Scott Rail manage to do it? Yeah, we're just waiting for that zoomer, because that would look quite cool. Still got an hour before our train. <laughs> not long, not long at all. One tick, another one will be coming in the opposite direction in a couple of minutes, so I'm happy. I got to see HST coming through. Another one coming any second now. I just want to also mention that HST that went past. Real time trains didn't say it was a HST, it was blank, so thank goodness it was. And thank goodness I was outside and I just come off a phone call, so phew, I'm happy. nice got a toot as well it is freezing so i'm gonna go inside for the next 45 minutes till our azuma our class 800 comes down from aberdeen and we're traveling all the way to king's cross stay tuned for that trip as i'm going to uh, the coach look at this an azuma and a hst use the same ramp got the class 170 in 334 as you do class 156 and 158 but the HST and Azuma are using the same ramp Wow
got the first class dish menu, we have got an upgrade to first class. Job done. But well, there's not much to look at outside, so let's have a look at the menu. We are on the dish menu. So there's brunch, deli, dish and dine. So we aren't on the dine one, but we are on the dish. So let's just have a look. So we do have the hot drinks, soft drinks, alcohol. Hop on board ale, definitely. Definitely going to go for that, but look, might get a red wine as well. Um, here's the breakfast brunch. Well, you can tell it's not breakfast time. So we're going to look at the lunch evening menu. So we've got chicken casserole, vegetable masala, egg florentine roll, New York deli sandwich. I think I had something like that on uh, cross country, didn't I? Toasty tea cake to finish, raspberry pot and some fresh fruit. So literally just had the train manager um, going, all right, tickets please. And I'm like, okay, so I've got Kakaldi to Edinburgh, Edinburgh to Donny, Donny to Stevenage, Stevenage to King's Cross, and a seat frog first class upgrade. Come on, that's good, isn't it? So yeah, we're in first class. We're enjoying it. Well, we're enjoying it so far. We haven't got any drinks yet, but they'll be coming soon. So here's something confusing. I've got a bottle of water and some shortbread and they've removed the menu. But they ran through so quickly, I didn't get a chance to uh, go, what's going on? Is this all I'm getting? I hope not. I'm hungry. Sounds like the diesel engines have been switched off now as we go on to overhead. Change here for trains to Glasgow Central and Inverness. <laughs> if you're leaving us here, please make sure you take all your personal belongings with you. Yeah, they did make an announcement saying that it is a crew change and then 10 minutes after Edinburgh, they'll then restart it. So I don't know why they put the menus away and then get them out again. Well, I don't think it's, I don't think it turns into a dine, does it? That would be funny if it did. I'm going to have to check now. So they have a problem with stock, which hopefully will be coming on Newcastle so there is the chicken casserole that I want but I was a bit cheeky and I said am I able to try the vegetable masala and he said sure have a go because they've got plenty of stock so I'm gonna have this and hopefully we'll get the chicken casserole as well it does smell good it does smell good so this is actually really nice it's very warming so 
bit of heat to it. Not tons, you know, the coughing and sweating, but got a nice heat in the back of my throat on this one. Yeah, really good. Mm. And the veg is nice. Could do with a bit of chicken. <laughs> but for a vegetarian dish, I actually really like this. I would have this again, definitely. But I've got to try this chicken casserole first. If you're on the diet, we would have had gammon and mash, but this is the dish menu. So chicken casserole and this. Let's see what we can get. We have chicken casserole, and hopefully we'll get that raspberry mousse as well. So we got some tempranillo, some red wine, which is nice, and also <laughs> the good old hop on board. We love these. So with the free version, it is in this 330 ml can. I've uh, got plenty of these. I've even got one at home next to my uh, British Airways one. Um, but if you buy it in the shop, you know, behind me in kettle class, you get a bigger can. But yeah, nice to have these cans back. I'm going to enjoy this. Will it be today or will it be at home? I don't know yet. Let's see how I'm feeling. Also, we were given the Fairfields Farm Lightly Sea Salted Potato Crisp. Now, where is Fairfields Farm? Colchester. Colchester, it says. So, yeah. I do like these types of crisps. They are pretty good. Yeah. Already got a second glass of wine. Ew. That's a bit. Mm. Oh, well. It does take a, it taste good, though. Coming into Newcastle, and actually, I'm going to be in Newcastle next week, uh, Monday next week, and coming back to Newcastle, so that'll be fun. Again, oh, there's the first class lounge there. Oh, and there is the food. So look, there's some food being <coughs> added. Good, good. I like the sound of that. But yeah, I'm going to be here in Newcastle, um, probably just take direct train cross-country unfortunately, but never mind. Um, but yeah, 1902, uh, so yeah, we got here on time, so we'll leave in a couple of minutes, see in about three minutes, and then yeah, onwards and upwards. So we've taken the order. Uh, we've also got a raspberry pot. So on the picture on the menu, it's in a nice uh, ceramic pot. This isn't really a ceramic pot, is it? Well, I look forward to trying this when it comes. We've got another packet of crisps. And we have got the chicken casserole. Fantastic. <laughs> so I think that red wine has gone to my head a little bit. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm going for a cup of tea whilst we wait for the uh, casserole. <laughs> 
and there we have it we have got the chicken casserole with the pearl barley and I'm going to enjoy this meal now this chicken casserole is it actually is really good really good love the sauce on it pearl barley yeah, I probably prefer mash than pearl barley. So this bit, I'm not so keen on, but this, yeah, this is nice. I'd love to try the gammon and mash on um, the dime menu, but I see what they're trying to do with the dish menu is they're trying to differentiate it from the dime, but this bit, not so keen on, but the chicken, that casserole was really good. So that was pretty good. Um, but I'll probably choose rice over pearl barley um, so kind of a mixture of the two that veg masala was really good and the rice was nice but the pearl barley with the uh, the casserole wasn't so good this is the September menu so by the time this out it may have changed again um, there was the olive stew that was out in August which is really annoying because I really wanted to try that beef olive stew it doesn't have olives in it it's just the way that it's cooked but the chicken casserole great pearl barley no replace it for mash replace it for rice that's what I would go for but now we're gonna have a cup of tea because that wine has gone straight to my head but now it is time to have the raspberry pot. Let's try and open that. Nice. We've got a spoon ready for that. So let's try some raspberry pot. And now we've got the lid off. Let's actually try some of this raspberry pot. That's actually really good. That is really good. <coughs> I am enjoying that. That is so nice, look at that. So it's got fresh cream in it, it's got raspberries in it. It's got, you know, a few extra chemicals and things in it. As you can see here, cream cheese, fresh cream, sugar, raspberry juice, tapioca starch, but that is nice. Now with the dime menu, you get jam, sponge, and custard, which would be would be nice. But I know with the dish menu, they are limited because they don't have a chef on board. They just kind of use the microwave, you know, the oven sort of thing. And so a lot of this is like fridge based and microwave based, but it's still a good version of it. I don't know what was on. So I know that they had the beef olive stew. I don't know what they had before. <coughs> I think it was a cheesecake, but this is nice. I wonder what they're going to have on the next one. You've probably seen the menu already because this is November. And by the time this is out, the new menu might be out. But yeah, other than that, that's actually a really nice mousse. There's a Nova 3 as of recording whilst they're still available. Um, I think when this comes out, we might not have the Nova 3s anymore on Transman on Express because they keep threatening to take them away in December, but we'll find out. We'll wait and see. There we go. Quite quiet in York. It is eight o'clock at night. Oh no, it's starting to get as busy. Eight o'clock. <coughs> Still got another two hours before we get to King's Cross. Got a nice cup of tea. Yorkshire tea, gold, I believe, for first class. Are we on time? We are on time. So yeah, it's just before eight o'clock and we leave 8.01. And uh, we should get to London King's Cross at 10.08. So you've got Donny, Peterborough, Stevenage, and then London King's Cross.
I needed the loop. So yeah, we're still in first class and we're enjoying it. Time for another cup of tea. They still haven't cleared this. I've drunk the wine. That's done. I'm not doing any more wine. Um, but I've got a nice uh, biscuit, raspberry and white chocolate. We've just left Donny. Just left Doncaster. So nice cup of tea and a biscuit. Let's see if they um, do any more food. I don't know. Will we get a toasty tea cake? I hope so. So, got another raspberry pot. And I've ordered the tea cake. So I've got my butter. And I've got this strawberry and champagne jam. Now, this strawberry and champagne jam, I'm actually going to keep. Um, letting Mrs. Mega Sim try this because this sounds really good. I'm going to have the toasted tea cake with the butter, and we'll have this when I get home with some toast. Or you know, I could get a toasted tea cake, couldn't I? To use at home. So I'll let you know on a future video how this tastes if if I remember. But yeah, I'm not going to try this tonight. I'm going for just the butter for now. Got a raspberry pot. Toasted tea cake incoming. That smells good. This is the toasted tea cake. Funnily enough, they use the same toasters in the first class galley that they refuse to do toast on for the breakfast anymore. I think those toasters cost like two and a half grand each. They're using them for the toasted tea cake. Look at that, look at that toastedness. But they don't use them, well, they don't offer toast on the breakfast anymore. So yeah, and he said, yeah, we use them. Looks good, gonna add the butter. This strawberry and champagne jam, save that for Mrs. Megasim. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a nice tea cake there. Mm. I haven't had a tea cake for such a long time. The nearest I've had to it was a Sally Lumber last year. That was good, but it's nice just to have the butter. So I look forward to trying that champagne jam thing. So just to go into the price of it. Now, I originally did Derby to Edinburgh for 10, and I was gonna get off at Doncaster and then go home, but I got Kukuldi to Edinburgh. I then got Edinburgh to Don Donny, and then Donny to King's Cross. So the actual seat frog upgrade, because I did get, I'd got standard tickets the whole way and I got a seat frog upgrade and I paid £40 for that. I actually paid 30 because I had a £10 credit. But 40 quid I paid in total, or 30 if I look at my own money, um, for the upgrade. So I think that's that's not too bad. I know it's quite pricey if you compare it to like a meal out or something like that. But look, I'm never going to go from Kakaldi at 10 to 5 to King's Cross at 10 past 10 ever again. I hope so but I've got to enjoy it whilst I can like a few months ago where we did the dine breakfast from where was that Newark Newark Northgate to Newcastle that was amazing I had to pay that extra because I wanted to experience it in some ways of like you know when people ask for the first class experience on a plane that's kind of what I'm doing here. I want to try this first class experience. I want to show you the first class experience so you can try it yourself. Because normally we just, you know, we all just sit in standard in cattle class. But this is the first class experience from LNER. You might be from another part of the world. You want to know what you get. This is what you get. And it is good. It is good. And I will say that I'm not plugging because I don't get anything from it. But Seat Frog. It is a good upgrade service. If you can get a good deal, if you book far enough in advance with LNER, Seat Frog, you get a really good price for your uh, ticket, for your first class upgrade. So I try it. So we've tried LNER, tried East Midlands Railway, GW1, not the Pullman Dine experience yet. Tried Transpennine Express, uh, Thameslink, Southern, Southeastern, Scott Rail, with Avanti West Coast, I've not really officially tried it. 
so I can't really explain you know how it, what it's like because most of the trains I go on like the Voyagers they don't give you the seat frog upgrade so it's quite expensive to upgrade but I, I have tried the first class experience on it and it was good but I couldn't document it so I'll leave it at that this is nice this tea cake this whole experience is nice still got hour and 20 minutes before we arrive at King's Cross so plenty more time for the trolley to come up and down and say hello Stephen would you like anything else yes please so coming into Peterborough there's the Thameslink 700 sitting there ready and waiting to go back down south it's 2116 so we've got just under an hour left on this uh, Zuma service So we've finally arrived at London King's Cross. So let's grab our case and say our goodbyes. Here we go. That was a pleasant journey. Nearly five and a half hours on this Azuma in first class, trying all of the delicacies of the first class offering veg masala, chicken casserole, raspberry mousse, toasted tea cake. We've tried as much as we can, but we have now arrived at King's Cross, which means that we need to catch a Thames link to East Croydon, because that's where I'm staying tonight. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Social media links are in the description below. We've got plenty more journeys coming up. We got loads of new dest uh, new destinations, yeah, new destinations that we'll be doing over the next few weeks and months on this channel. I just want to mention this train here is going to York. It's going to get there at 20 past one tomorrow morning. Now that would be a good train to go on. Well, I don't know. It's late at night. I'd like to do it in the day because it just looks so good. But there we go. King's Cross done. Azuma done from Scotland down to London. I'm loving it. Hopefully you did too. See you later, guys.